Hi, I'm Jim Harmer from ImprovedPhotography.com where I have hundreds of photography articles and I also teach online photography classes. Well, this morning I posted on our social media networks that I've been watermarking my photos and I found a new way to do it that I find to be less obtrusive. So about a year ago I started putting my, my signature in the bottom right of the photo and I make it either silver or black so it kind of stands off the background and I just make it small. In fact, it really resembles a lot what we'd expect to see when we go into a photo gallery. We expect there to be that signature of the artist, and I wanted to recreate that in a digital world. Now, the happy benefit of that is it also serves as a watermark for your photo. But when I posted this on our social media networks, I received well over 100 comments from our readers saying that if you make your logo that small and just in the corner of the photo, it would be extremely easy to just clone over it or to crop it out in Photoshop. Well, you're right, it would be very easily easy to do so, but I wanna explain, first of all, the legal foundation for doing so, and also I'm gonna point you to resources to do a very simple tutorial of how to add your, your watermark in Photoshop or in Lightroom. First, the, I'm not your lawyer, I did go to law school, but you need to seek competent legal, legal advice to apply the law of your jurisdiction into your specific situation. But this is how I run my business and I understand the law to be. Under the United States Copyright, Copyright Act, Section 1202, says that basically that if someone infringes on your copyright and they've removed your watermark from, from a photo that they've infringed, you are entitled to additional damages up to $25,000 plus attorney's fees and that's in addition to the damages that you receive for the normal infringement and you can receive under this provision even if you have not registered your photos. So it's a pretty significant benefit uh, to protect your photos by including a watermark. If it's removed, you can get additional damages than you would otherwise. So I've, I've chosen to do my logo this way. Dustin has a different approach to how he does his logo. He kind of uh, designed a little bit of a graphic for his personal brand, D.O. Dustin Olson, and he puts that on the photos. What I like about his is his has transparency inside the letters, so it kind of seems to fit with whatever photo he puts it on uh, to represent his personal brand. But however you decide to do it, you need a, a very easy way to apply your photos, apply your watermark to your photos, so you don't have to go through additional steps and you know pasting it on the on top of the photo every single time that you want to add a watermark to your pictures. So I want to point you to two quick videos that I've created to show you how to how to make a signature watermark like this and put in in a Photoshop brush, and you can find that tu tutorial by going to improvephotography.com slash Photoshop watermark, watermark, all one word, Photoshop watermark. And that'll just be a two minute tutorial on how to do it. If you're a Lightroom user and you wanna do the same thing, it's even easier for you to apply a watermark. And for that tutorial, go to improvephotography.com slash Lightroom watermark. Um, if you follow those tutorials, you'll see easily how to, how to do this. Uh, and apply it to your photos. But I think watermarking is very important to protect your copyright and your rights to your photos. But the most important thing is you do it unobtrusively so it doesn't detract from your photo. I hope this tutorial helps and that you'll join me on improvephotography.com. Thanks.